probably saw it pick up there. Templar oh, yeah. Assassin. Yeah, Templar this experience. So if NT been back, straight back down, half health. Now another Fissure, a couple of right clicks here from uh, Dendik. And that's... This lane is over, alright! <laughs> Empire and well... So far it's been working out in Pushka 2, 1 and 3, so... Also part of every single kill here on the side of now. But things are starting to slow down a little bit, at least on this side of the map, down bottom. Well, relocate comes in too, so that should be that Roger perhaps. Was it a, was it a glimpse back? Being Little interruption and they don't have a lot of vision across. Now they do though. So Nako trying to turn around, but he can't with the napalm. Still gets the stack storm off, but nothing else. Kind of struggling a little bit, but now glimpse back onto FN. Roger, follow up control, echo slam, everything being dropped on in. That's the big hero going down again and the small hero as well, Van score. Trying to outplay his, play his way out of there, but... Again, we'll miss, and there you go! <laughs> just find his fat right straight off the bat with the stag storm. Now to charge across the glimpse back on FN. Keeping him out of the fight, and, uh... Well, Navi, so far so good. Crystallized, though, huh? Does barely have enough mana for his own ultimate. Gets it off and goes across FN with a blink forward. Showing off that shiny new toy. They'll finish up those drops at the very least, then general. Gotta be careful here. Pushka will give his own life though, and everyone else starting to drop loads. His constant blink of right clicks. Shrine is being used. Fan score healing up Chappie while he's at it. FN still trying to look for a target here, but they can't really catch up to anybody. It's Navi who are just uh, dictating the pace of this particular team, but constantly ducking in and out. Just pop it up top. And relocate back to bottom. That's good. It's actually super, super low, so they're gonna go on this. Fans go dead immediately. Temple Assassin. Well, that is, they're gonna make that attempt. They have the DD rune on Crystallize to help out. Chappie. Trying to throw in some lances, but we'll be dodged with the Invis. And now the charge in the back here. Now find the Earthshaker. That's a big one. Taking out Roger, but Edward cast the BKB from the Fendo, keeping him alive. And Pushka does not have the same luxury. Nine of this Chappie is suddenly stopping the back. So Crystallize on the dominating spree. And it's the buyback from the Earthshaker. Forces Empire back. Now we Pushka with another charge. Roger will be caught by that, but at the same time. It'll also mean that he'll have to give up his own life, but now V, they're looking for more of the fissure. will actually connect onto Aya. Okay, v have gone into them, but he's bad here, Ghosty. That's a Firefly, does he want to go for plays? He does. They do have some vision on him with a <laughs> with the trap, and now bringing Puck into loving arms of Vivan, but it's not quite enough, he's still alive. So far, and, uh, never mind, he does get tracked down. But General FM. And he's straight into the Invis General. Echo Slam somewhere else entirely. I think that was off the mark. This oh fight's my. actually still going on. Empire committing so much to try and prevent the Trosh. And Chris Lyons, that's his ultimate, to try and keep him alive and will be successful. New control of the Temple Assassin. No way to go, no more infraction charges. Now finally, perhaps. No, never mind. They just keep going. The charge up top will cancel that TP from Q, 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 and he's whining right now. Now perhaps this is an opening to make a beeline straight towards Roche Pit, but Rest of Empire then in position to guard it against this particular rotation. Now the ultimate actually catches G Arena, follow up with the charge and bring down Denny. Maybe, maybe not Roger coming through, allowing Denny to escape. Meal on the back, so Nako ends up dropping. Despite the static storm being thrown out, but in the front, so well, crystallized General Roger in the cleaning house. It's, uh, all, I see yeah, things, it's not I... good memory here, <laughs> Chappie. Well, it should be fine. Ghosting BKB into the lasso, isolating that one. Glimpse back here on the Chappie. Doesn't quite catch on the static storm though. He's still silenced, but it's also very, very tanky. Trying to track people down in the back lines. Meanwhile, front the Porsche. <laughs> okay, taking so much damage up against Crystalite. He's still on a tear and uh, cleaning through the support staff before they focus on Chappie. Empire. Getting high ground games back in the stag storm. Didn't quite dodge it this time here. Double King of Walls and cooldown. Chappy, well, he's being tracked away. And a follow up control from the Echo Slam. They bring him down. And he's not coming back anytime soon. Ghostnik next on the list. Crystallize. Just 
He, he doesn't care. He's not taking any prisoners. He, the BKB to be on the van. Almost not successful here to get the glimpse back and we pushed again. Ultra kill for the Weaver. That uh, guy definitely does not have the Here we go again. Go six. Smoked up. Blink lasso. BKB. No counterplay potential. Can they bring down Pacto? The answer is no. Not quite yet. He'll be able to blink his way out of there. Static Storm is Soneka. He's panicking. Roger gets the control off onto the Phantom Lancer. They burst him down first. That's a new one. Miposhka, well, obviously not all that tanky now on the Space Cow this late in the game. They go on a hero that's very hard to actually finish off. And Clockwork. Yeah. It is what it is. Top lane Chappie is actually dropping quite low here with the Brain Stab. Still trying to fight, but. Well, it'll give us light vents score the one drawing first blood after all though. This can make a difference between life and death. Now Chappie. Well, getting closer and closer to death once again. He's trying to fight up against an echo, trying to heal himself up, and so far so good. But now it's some extra help from Iborska. But it is general dies again. But you still learned hundred percent on most of on some of monkey games mechanics, but well, it's gonna come in now, treat and skilled up, running right at Snakeo, gets Nightmare up though, and taken away by his friendly disruptor. Chappie still going hard, FN also joining the party, and they just nuke down Snakeo now looking for more. Final strike with a big crit, and General, well, gets glimpsed back into the loving arms of the rest of Team Empire. Killing spree for the Monkey King. That's what it says on the gold graph, realistically, like, as far as items they have on their heroes and whatnot, it's more like a... I don't know. 5k or 6k. <laughs> oh, the stack some turn things around. Try to go on a fan. But the glimpse to cancel. The plays from Vansko. Make it a rain here. As Chappie takes another double kill. Like, uh, after you, if they win by your reasoning, they'd be like, all right, yeah, play super defensively. But they still get trying to go for these kind of kills. More often than not, they're being caught out and counterplayed by Team Empire. Now, this might be another one of those with Chappie. Caught in the middle of that, they eat through the trees, so four seconds done or something like that. Crystallized. Time to work away. Shappy drops down his ultimate. Oh no. Yeah, doesn't, doesn't really have an easy way of getting out of that kind of a hustle. That kind of a problematic situation, and now they're looking for more. It's gonna be general jumped on, burned down. Roger's gonna use his newfound life to just run into another stack. So, I'm hashtag space created. Vansk almost dies all the AoE. He will die now. Duel's still available. Fiend's Crypt on top of it as well. They will find the Phantom Lancer. Most of their net worth on half that is going in. They don't find the duels right away though on the vent, but the lasso comes out onto Legion Commander. Zeus spells every which way, crystallizing the side. Fiend's Crypt are an illusion here. This is not ideal. They find Vansko, one for one trade so far, him up against the Legion Commander, and now... Oh, well, where are we at? FN dropping lower and lower. They find the real one in the middle of all of this. Make it a two for one, and this time Soneko. Need to have some good counter plays there. Chappie also ready to jump in whenever. There it is. Pops the ultimate now. And gets Nightmare inside of it, so not a deal. Roshan down very low on health. Soneko will be the first one to fall. Now the Static Storm catches the Legion Commander. It's two, three heroes stand, an absolute disaster for now. They cheeky little pick off right there. Mimo up top. Slide. It gets caught with a dust, but now the duel was bait. Onto the Enchantress, bring him down, but what cost? Shappy popped the ultimate. Will burn on Shappy. Now the glimpse back into the static storm. And some hashtag expert analysis right there, so thank you for that. You're welcome. Can't push out lanes when you're dead. Good to know. I'll take a check. Well, if your niche is profit, if you have trees out, you can still push lanes, so it's not actually cool in some cases, but there it is. It's very true that this Dendi is dead. Denied himself once again. This came a cooldown, I believe, here. Roger, next on the list, just be chased all the way back to the fountain. And, uh, yeah. We'll die, FN. Thanks a couple of uh, fountain shots for, and now that should be another duel win, and it is. On the ages, though, so he'll come right back. Even the rest of Steam still working away at the tier 3 tower. Catch asleep, but we'll be taken over by Vansko. Yeah, Empire looks like they should be able to take this game number two. I mean, I hate to call it early, but it's. They're getting killed. Time to sit We deal top. Oh, there it is. Chappy just waiting for them to come in here, sitting on the edge of his ultimate, fighting up against the Neko, who's being brought down by the Flame God. So, for one trade here, Vansko did fall, but FN, well. Up against Crystallize, actually about to lose this one with the extra AoE damage. <laughs> the perfect place for him to doppelganger. 
They reap the benefits now, Roger. Okay, finds Chappie, but it pops a BKB and starts the fight. FN doing the same thing. Ultimate use. Oh, FN actually losing here. Or is he Lasso on top of the Legion Commander trying to bind some extra bit of space? But well, then we'll die. But it's only the Aegis Chappie. He's dropping low, and he doesn't have that same luxury. So they're actually gonna lose that Monkey King bit. Well, Phantom Lasso is still pretty scary at this point. The second time around. Uh, it was really big. That's the fight left in him. Oh, Van Score. So let's see, uh, ultimate available, pops it out now, but Legion Commander doesn't really care. Can't, couldn't get the duel off, and now he's burning, so now he cares. With all these Phantom Lance illusions on top of him, too. So Neko, next one on the list, Crystallize. He has to do something, he has to try and burn through, and with the Mjolnir, they're actually able to. No more illusions, no more Phantom Lances, double kill for the Weaver. Just think back to uh, when I was spectating all the games during TI, and I pretty much didn't get to sleep. There it is. Dropping everything, including the kitchen sink on this uh, Phantom Lance a little bit. Damage not really coming through with the Yules on each commander. They won't win the duel, they will still get the kill. Doesn't actually catch anybody inside of it. So we'll be able to walk away. And uh, Mikoshka, what, what's he doing there? What? Dying. I don't think Empire played a different game in, a different, in another tournament or something, so I had a bit of a break. Navi played more or less back to back. With only an hour or so in between. In between, I'm sure they were discussing strategies and whatnot, not actually resting. Well, Chappie, doing a bit of damage here, but now Crystallize, he's doing it again. E yeah, Chappie eats the cheese, but he can't stand against this. Now, without PKP, he's just gonna straight up die under the shrine. All of a sudden, Navi are the ones breaking high ground, Glyph forced out. And the buyback on Chappie, I'm not sure about this one. He needs support, Glyph's back, Vanscore does the static storm on too. And uh, Zeus is the only one who's stuck inside of it, muted, unable to help with anything except the extra heal for Crystallize with the Bloodstone. And you know, as a result, he'll be able to track down Chappie. That's a dieback on the Monkey King. Now, Definitely. Ghost Stick FN has to take over as a damage shield. It's only Crystallize up here, but does get the, <laughs> to jump back. Still keep track of him a little bit. The Glimpse back all. He's just bouncing all over the map at this point. Wraparound plays are happening, but Snakeo comes in, they know this is happening, the lasso will be counted out. Crystallize, BKB sitting in the middle of that, but they're also fighting inside the Monkey King Hold. They have to isolate Chappie, he's super super low and he dies, Crystallize, with a double kill. They only left Snakeo, but a cleaning house on Team Empire. Biodex galore from both sides, Roger as well as Ghosting. Miposhka caught with the Nimbus on the side here. So many mini stuns and another dual victory. He's down for the count. So yeah. If they win this one there. Uh, game's not over yet. Crystallize. He has the age of stealth for a little bit. Now going in heavy on Fan. He's super fast. Fan back to full health. Careful, they say, but they find the real one. He does throw out the Abyssal Blade, trying to bring down Zeus. G Arena will survive. FN, not so lucky. He does have a buyback. We'll use it right now. Go sick. A couple right clicks will finish him off. Buyback now on <laughs> General. They really want to end this right now. No puts a shovel, so he has to walk his way up. Enemy incoming. He's the enemy, perhaps. I don't know what he's trying to tell us. Enemy is that Battle Rider about to respawn. Same with uh, Disruptor here. They're going to need yeah. to pull this out quick. They took the Megos, but they need to retreat now. As it stands, look at this bottom lane. Oh, God. Oh, bottom rune spot rune. crystallized. Yeah. Blue glowing crystal right in front of him. <laughs> he picks it up now. Uh, and there it is. The fight breaks out. Roger gets glimpsed back. That'll save him actually to duel. Uh, uh, the lasso here onto the bane. Chappie's ultimate comes out. But himself, he's just dying once again to crystallize. He turns things around. And, uh, well, Chappie is dead. Next one on the list. He's stuck inside Stagstorm. But does he care? No, he doesn't. Triple kill just like that. There it is. The GG. They saved us from the yeah. sleepy cast. And... I'm gonna wait for this game to end, but I'm gonna say it, Drag and Drop. Believe me, I'm gonna Go say ahead. it. I'm